So we've had a look at um, pretty much all the sort of base settings of combustion. Um, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to sort of access this blue flame, which is in the combustion settings here. So you turn this on. And this is if you want um, sort of add that sort of blue aspect to a, a flame that you can get with like gas fires and things like that, um, and on candles and things like this. I mean, I'm not going to change this sim to try and make it a bit more candle-like. It would take too long, um, but we should be able to see it in this as well. So. First of all, what you do is you go to combustion settings and you turn it on. Now if we go to um, here, let's make sure this is on right. And let's zoom in. I'm just gonna add a watch point. Rewind. So you can see all the stuff we've got coming out of here. There's a lot of uh, attributes. This is why the combustion sims uh, take a lot longer than the, just a smoke aero sim because you know you've got suspension rate, flame, flame speed, fuel, gas, 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 ignition, temperature, temperature, things like that. So if I go back to um, combustion settings, turn that off. So open this up. So I'm just going to bring this over so we can see it in relation to the settings here. So if you watch, when I turn this on, a little think, and we get a new um, attribute. Um, turn it off, actually disappears. So this is where the store, where it's going to be stored, and it's called voxel combustion rate which is here, this one here. Annoyingly, it'd be really great if you could copy these, but you can't. So, I'm just gonna sim out this for a bit with this new property. Um, let me just get rid of this, don't need that. Right, watch point. And bring that back to where it is. I'll just hit L. So we've got everything's going on. And let's make this a bit longer. And just to clarify, did I? I may have changed my. Actually, I might take this down a little bit, just to six. And I've still got that refinement on, so it's going to be uh, sort of calculating as if it was a three, for hopefully. And let's hit play. Well, I'll pause and be back in a minute. So I've just simmed out only 29 frames of that. Actually, it's actually getting quite slow to sim. So all my fiddling around here, I've probably made it a little bit. Uh, go a bit too slow, perhaps. Um, but this guy here is pretty cool. Um, a big mushroomy cloud type thing. Um, right. So let's try and see if we can access this blue flame. So I've gone to read mode. Um, so how it works is I'm going to need a new assigned material. Uh, oops, assign, assign material. I'm just going to plug that in. And I need a new shader as well. So let's just go to the hype shade. Um, just going to go back here and go to sorry, let's go shaders, standard volume. Let's call this one blue. I'm going to drag that in. I need to lock my viewport, stop it, keep trying to dock everything. Right. So it's just thinking about that, I think. Right. There we go. Anyway, it's not put down there, it's not important. Um, so, just still thinking about it. There we go. Right. So, plug that one into the volume material. And then, 
I'm going to plug it out like that. going to do it. Thinking about it. Maybe I should pause these. Um, edit. It's getting quite slow. Right. So I'm just going to unpause the, uh, un disconnect the, the material that we've got there already. So we've got this one. Um, so let me just open up my attribute editor. So there's my blue. Um, so how this works is we want to, if you remember the name of that, Vauxhall combustion rate it's called. Um, if I put it here we probably won't see it. We might see, well I've got thing paused anyway. Just rather than having it on pause and see it again. So I'll just carry on. So what I can do is I actually got a preset. So let's just load this up and then I'll go through it. So I've got a preset for blue flame. I'm going to replace. So we have this voxel combustion rate in the density. We also have it in the emission. We've got it in the temperature as well, but I don't think it actually works in temperature. We can just delete that. Um, so this is where we're going to control the blueness in the emission. We need a bit of the density to still, otherwise it doesn't get added to the alpha. Um, so let me just copy this and let me just do that. So that's what it is, it's called that. And you want it in your density channel and your emission channel. Um, and you want to change this emission to channel so it sees it. Um, so now, Just unpause this, edit, resume. And let's, uh, let's go back to an earlier frame. Just thinking about it, I think he's loading up the cache. The caches are getting quite big actually. Um, Frame 29 was half a gig, so got quite a lot going on there. Obviously, you know, I've got my resolution fairly high. Ah, oh, it's crashed. No! Okay, I'll pause and we. Um, I'm going to have to sort of stop this video and do another one. Um, this will be part one. My, it's crashed and I can't seem to get this closed properly. Um, so I'll be back with a new scene.